Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. Today is a gorgeous sunny day here in Michigan. As you can see, I am getting a few buds up there on those trees. I can see the little red buds. I can't zoom in on them or all you're going to see is screen, I think. Yeah, see, it changes to screen. But I do have buds. That means leaves are coming. We have them down in the city where I used to live, but now we don't have them here, which is kind of a bummer. I do like having this bird feeder right outside my window because while I'm sketching and painting, the birds come up and the feeder's about, oh, I don't know, four, four and a half feet from my window. So it's really nice watching them. But today I'm going to be sketching from life again. I'm going to be sketching these items here. I've got my sketchbook out. This is my Pentalic sketchbook. This one is 7 by 10. It's the Pentalic Aqua Journal. Whoops. And this is what I usually use. I like cotton sketchbooks, and I plan to try some other cotton sketchbooks. Um, I was going to get the perfect sketchbook, but they had sold out of them. Apparently, they have some online at Amazon, I guess, but they're so dang expensive. It's ridiculous. So I might try one of their other ones somebody told me was good. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to paint these or sketch these four items here. I'm, again, forgetting the background here. I'm not going to do this speaker or my iPad. I'm not going to do this jar that I did yesterday. And if you haven't seen the video, you can go back and watch it. It was this sketch here. And I think I'm a little blurred. Let me just focus in here. Yeah, that sketch there. But today I am going to sketch these. I'm going to sketch these two Bird of Paradise plants. And I'm going to sketch this little brown bottle, this vase trying to catch some light and a pair of jewelry pliers. So let's go ahead and get started and I will let you watch me pencil sketch as I go and uh, I'll try to give you some more sketching tips along the way. This little guy's out exploring this morning. Today I'm going to be grabbing some tips from another book called the Urban Sketching Handbook 101 Sketching Tips. It's a great book. I'll put a picture in right here, and it's by Stephanie Bauer. You can pick this book up for about $17 on Amazon. Uh, they also have it for Kindle as well. Um, but Stephanie Bauer is really well known in the urban sketching movement. She teaches a lot of classes at the Urban Sketchers Symposiums. She's an architect. Her fourth tip in the book is about starting with a simple subject. So for those of you who are new to sketching, new to urban sketching, sketching from life of any sort, don't get discouraged. She said that she had taken a trip to India many years ago and saw another person who was also sketching. So she excitedly pulled out her sketchbook and showed her her pictures of um, images like uh, the top of a palm tree and the face of a camel, things like that. And she said it wasn't the grand architectural masterpieces that Stephanie was going for at the time that, it, that she was trying to create. In so many ways, she said that this other woman had it right. It wasn't about creating great works of art. It was about capturing meaningful moments of her trip. Her sketches were every bit as important to her as her, Stephanie's were to her as well. But the lesson here is don't be overwhelmed by thinking you need to create great works of art. Start simple. It's all about capturing your experiences in a sketch. Another one of her tips, her first one is that she says, draw and paint on location if you can. It, it, get, it can be intimidating at first, and I gave you some tips uh, a couple videos back about how you can avoid that um, people watching you thing. But she said, Sketching is not about the perfect representation of what you see, but about capturing your unique experience. Like this sketch I'm working on today ends up turning out a bit wonky, but I don't care. It was about me. It was about some things that sit in my studio that I see every day, and that memory will come back to me every time I look at it. It when you work on location, though, you'll see better and you'll learn more than you ever would by taking a photo. It keeps your sketch fresh and it truly captures the moment in your heart on paper. 
what's important to you. You'll see, like if you're ever in a group of sketchers and you're all going to a location to sketch the same location, everybody chooses a spot to sketch. If you ever watch online or anything, or if you've ever done it, you see everybody chooses their spot to sketch. But everyone has a slightly different composition or maybe a hugely different composition. It's all about what they themselves are getting out of that experience in that moment and they put it on their paper. So it can be 20 different compositions of the same subject because it's what's important to them in that moment. If you're new to urban sketching or plein air painting, start small. Using a smaller book is much easier to fill a piece of paper than if you have a huge book. Treat yourself to some nice sketching tools. If you do that, you're going to be more apt to use them. You can go back to a few videos and see what I keep in my sketch bag. I will post that video at the end here. Also, draw a lot. Think about quantity rather than quality. It takes a lot of practice to get your hand, eye, and brain all coordinated because you're thinking from a different spot of your brain than you normally would, than your eyes would see and tell you what's going on. So you have to kind of change that. And it takes a while to flip that over. And I'll go into that in another video. But uh, the more you draw, the more you will like your drawings because um, sketching is a problem solving thing. It's part of why beginners can struggle is that they have to figure out so many things for the first time, such as how to represent a window or a tree. This is another reason why sketching a lot is really helpful for you, especially in the beginning. After you've tackled a particular problem in a few sketches, you won't have to figure it out again in the future sketches. Sketching that window or tree will be easier because you've already worked it out on a drawing method you like, so next time you'll know what to do. In the end, sketching gets easier the more you sketch. So if you can spend 30 minutes a day sketching, that is terrific. And if you have an iPad and you're laying in bed at night and can't fall asleep, pull out your iPad and draw on your iPad. Sketching is sketching. Whatever you do, do not wait to start until you're good enough because you won't get there unless you practice. Learning to sketch is a lifelong process. We continue to grow every time we sketch a little bit. Even seasoned veterans produce duds and get frustrated. We're all always working to improve, so ignore that critical voice in your head and just jump in. Urban sketching is not so much about the destination as it is about the journey, and that's actually the good news. And while we are locked down at home, draw where you are. You don't have to be sketching in Venice to be inspired. You can be in your own home, sitting at your dining room table. Whatever you see, just sketch it. Dirty laundry on the floor. <laughs> hey, I might do that one. <laughs> now, I really like this tip, and I struggle with it. Number 14 in her book is draw clean lines. Try to draw simple, clear lines, even if they're in the wrong place. Making 10 lines in an attempt to place the right one only heavies up the line and calls attention to the struggle. Your line doesn't have to be perfect or in the perfect place. Avoid broken, hesitant, or hairy lines. Try drawing less with your hand and fingers and more with your arm and your shoulder, and it will loosen up your lines and allow you to draw faster. That's something that I didn't get at first. And if you notice when I was sketching, I was, by the end, I was holding near the end of the pencil. I'm not choked up on my brush so much here either. I'm holding it back a little bit and keeping it on the loose side. Number 18, she says, draw lines with energy. How you draw a line can either add life or deaden a sketch. Drawing quickly adds freshness and spontaneity to your lines. You can feel the speed in line work if you're drawing fast. If you draw slow, it can kind of deaden things. Don't worry about straight lines. Let them wiggle a little bit. The wiggle in your hand adds interest to your line work. Embrace the wonk. I said mine was wonky. Yes, embrace the wonkiness of your line. Tilt it, curve it. All will add energy to your sketch. 
It's not about perfection and realism. So that's it for today, everybody. Remember, be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. Sketch with wild abandon. But most of all, be kind to each other. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.